Hey everyone, today we are unboxing DualSense charging station for PlayStation 5. This is the official PlayStation 5 accessory. This is really hard to find these days, but I somehow managed to get one from Amazon. So without any further delay, let's unpack and see what we have got inside. So the packaging looks quite simple. It has PlayStation branding, it has the same color scheme, white and blue, and compatible hardware is your PlayStation 5 controller. You can charge two wireless controllers at the same time, and definitely it frees up your USB port because this charging dock, it runs on direct AC power. Click and design, we're going to see how smooth this click and design is. And that's it. So let's open it up. So we have pull tab to easily pull the box out of the outer packing. So inside the box we have user manual which gives you the basic. So yeah, as I told you this runs on AC power so it can free up your USB and there are further instructions in it. This is AC power brick. We have power cable. And this is paper and wire. They are making eco-friendly packaging and this is the actual dock mm. looks beautiful this does look like playstation 5 it is the same design Also, so we have power connector at the bottom. Your charging connector is tilted 90 degrees, so it can sit flush with your charging dock. We have rubberized feet to keep them still on the surface so it doesn't slide around. Uh, yeah, there is a little bit of friction, but it's not a lot. But yeah, I'm happy with it. This is enough to keep it stable. This definitely is Australian Specs Power Connector. You might get a different one depending on where you are located. Looking closely, we have the similar X triangle square and plus patterns on it as we have on PlayStation 5 and on the controller. So putting your controller on the dock is pretty simple. Just match these connectors with the dock's connectors. And here you go. You can see the charging lights are all lit up it 
but in the same way you can put your second controller on the second slot so your controller sits pretty nicely on the slot however there is no magnetic connection between these and sometimes you get when you get it wrong you will have to adjust it by moving it around and when your controller sits properly on it you hear a satisfying click sound So once your controller is properly on your dock, it sits pretty nicely on it. It does fumble a little bit if you move it, but it is still nicely sitting on top of the dock. So guys, that's all for today. I am pretty impressed by the product so far, especially with the charging accessories i always recommend buying the genuine ones because sometimes the cheap one can damage your controller so and on top of that this one is really inexpensive so it's better to spend a couple of few extra bucks than to lose your controller permanently that's it for today i hope this has been informative for you i'll see you again with the next video please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel i'll see you again goodbye